Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, it's about 7.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we've got the jobs report coming up at 8.30. The way we trade it, the way I always tell you guys is don't game jobs. Don't come in at 8.28 in the morning, put a lot of contracts on because you're assuming that the reaction to the jobs report is either going to be very positive or very negative. You may win big, you may lose big. I guarantee you the loss from losing big will greatly exceed that from winning big because you will hold it trying to be right. So the way we do it, the way we've done it for years and it works for us is we wait for the reaction. The, the report will create an upper end and a lower end of a range. Then you wait and see what's happening. Are we making higher lows within the range, which has been typical? Are we going to make lower highs, which is possible today? And we'll get to the action of the bears in a minute. Whoever, or do we break above or break below the range? There's usually a setup in there, but it always is prudent to wait for the reaction to the report. Okay, now in yesterday's webcast, I mentioned a couple of things. I said if you've been long, if you've been long all the way up, you need to take profits and roll your stops up on your runners. And that it was no longer a time to be complacently long in the market. You need to be hedged, you need to be vigilant you need to have some kind of a short position. Yesterday we moved up as high as 2010, a one handle lower high versus 2011. Another excellent place to take profits. And I said that for the first time in a long time that I was net short. Now I'm currently flat because that's what I do ahead of jobs. I, I like to be flat unless I absolutely have to have a position. We took off our longs on the morning pop. We took off a lot of our shorts on the dip in the afternoon I left a runner at 98 under the you know with, with with the thesis that the Bears showing that kind of strength should have been able to stay uh, underneath the weekly pivot and that 97 area they broke above it they traded as high as uh, 88 half in the over 98 half rather in the overnight and they've traded as low as 8875 this morning so I'm currently flat. I got stopped out of that runner. But what we're seeing now from the bears for the first time in a long time is lower highs and then lower lows. It's the lower highs and lower lows that the bears tend to get hung up on. So we've seen highs rejected for the last two to three days. And we're seeing a push lower this morning. Now all of this newfound bearish uh, resolve can get erased in one minute at, at 8.31 a.m. if the jobs report, if the reaction to the jobs report is what the people deem to be positive. And what I mean by that is, you know, we as individual traders, we don't control the reaction to the jobs report. If, if the people that really move the market decide that the jobs report out of the number or what's in the number is positive, then we can go make new highs and keep going. But the fact that the bears continue to be able to make lower highs and lower lows and reject highs and preserve a high for more than a day tells me that what I was saying you know, yesterday morning and two nights ago to my subscribers is valid. We are seeing slowly a trend change. Uh, maybe not a trend. A trend change is a small word. We're seeing the entry into more of a two-sided market okay trend doesn't change the trend of this market the trend of this doesn't change until we get under the purple line and stay there for a significant period of time that's way down at 1847 49 that's more than 100 points away so let's not talk about change in trend let's just talk about the fact that the bears can actually get something done during the day and maybe go on a couple of you know you know multi-day pullbacks and we end up with a little bit more of a two-sided market than we've been used to the last couple of years and for traders you know we'll take it so um, everybody have a fantastic day have a fantastic weekend 
check out our website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come follow us on Twitter, at PrincetonTrader. Come check out the chat room. Uh, come take a free trial. Today's a good day to start. Monday's uh, another fantastic day to start. There's a lot of new people in there. You'll be learning along with a lot of other people, some fantastic traders in there, and we would love to meet you. All right, take care, everybody. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well.